I'm on a 2019 standard Windows server and I'm going to install Internet Information Services. I'm going to start by clicking on Add Roles and Features in the Server Manager Dashboard. And in Add Roles and Features, we're going to get a wizard. We'll just click Next. Choose the Role-Based or Feature-Based Installation option, which is the default. And then click Next on the name of the server that you want to select. And now we want to click on the box that says Web Server IIS. Make sure you check the box that says Add Features when prompted and then click Next. Here are additional features you can install if you'd like, but you can ignore it if you're just trying to install Internet Information Services. When I click Next a couple more times, then I'm listed with what's called Role Services. So what's interesting about Windows Server is that you have roles and features that you can install, but sub-roles are called Role Services. So in this case, Web Server is the one that's highlighted. That's the server role. Everything underneath it is considered a role service. And by default, it has everything it needs to do basic uh, IIS management and web server installation. I also like to add a few things myself, but you don't have to do that, such as HTTP redirection. And I'll be doing a video that shows how to use that coming up. I'll also be doing a video on basic authentication and Windows authentication. If you're planning on installing FTP server, then you also need to make sure all of the management tools are installed as well. And I'll click Next. And then down the bottom right, I'll click Install. And it usually takes just a couple of minutes to install based on the speed of your server. In this particular case, I'm using a virtual machine running on a Windows Server host. But of course, this works the exact same way when you run it on a physical computer. The installation is complete. I'll click Close. And now in the Tools menu at the top, you'll see something new, and it's called Internet Information Services Manager. I'm going to expand IIS Manager until we see the default website, which it automatically creates. So that's how you install Internet Information Services, and I have additional videos on how to configure them. So take a look at the playlist.